Hey there, Leo. Hope you guys' week has been good to you guys so far. Appreciate you guys so much. Let's find out what the cards are saying for you guys today. I did switch out some Oracle cards to see if I get you guys some different messages. This is going to be for my beautiful sign of Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Leo babes. Tell me about Leo, please. What do they need to know? And we got fear here. We got truth. One more. Leo. Got home environment here. Healing. Okay, so somebody's first worst fear is coming true, that you've healed, that you're improving, that you're moving forward. Something about your truth is scaring someone. What's the overall energy for Leo, please? Relationships. You're attracted to people who serve your highest good. So this is about you speaking your truth and um, not letting anything pull you backwards anymore on your healing journey here. Man, somebody doesn't want you to speak up about a connection. Someone doesn't want you to tell your side of something. And you've been through a lot of adversity. So you expect you ex accept that the challenge is the best way to learn. So somebody fears how strong and how, man, somebody just fears the, the challenges that they've made to try to break you down has only made you stronger. Leo. You already know in your heart what to do, so there's some kind of like things being presented towards you at this time, situations, connections that you've dealt with, and you already know what to do with these connections. Tell me more. Man, you're like, you got people fearing your truth right now. The whole world is touched by your love, so that healing that you're doing, this, this journey of enlightenment that you're on is touched by the whole world. We need more people like you. And you are in this independent and brave energy right now. So somebody fears this independent you. Someone didn't expect for you to, to be so powerful and like come back strong. Beautiful scenery awaits your journey. So this is about embracing this journey, this path. The things that you've been presented and faced with. This is about you just staying in this high vibing, optimistic energy and just embracing the journey. Like you're... You're down for the ride. You're like, okay, I got this. What else is going to be thrown my way? I can overcome anything. You're very strong-willed. Leo. Leo. Magic. So this is also about breaking any type of like karma for that you've had from a past life. There's something here about like even like magic and, and hexes and curses can't hold you back. So like... Something about word spells, like people speaking things over your life and wanting bad for you is like, that's only made you come back stronger as well. Man, somebody's worried about your magic abilities and the way that you're able to transmute energy, the way that you're able to repel dark negative energy off of you. Like it bounces right off of you and it makes people scared. All right. And your growth. I always in learning, growing, and improving myself and increasing your value to the world here. That's what you're doing. Your growth is scaring people, but that's, it's like you trigger people to, they, they, you make people feel like they've got to change things up for their own lives, but it's like they don't, they're not as strong to make the changes that you are. Leo, I am fulfilled by love. So this is you pouring into yourself, loving yourself, giving to things that uplift you. This is no longer depleting your energy from, from connections that no longer are reciprocating that back to you. Someone doesn't like the way that you're able to just attract things towards you. Your aura is magnetic to golden opportunities. So this is attracting the right people, the right opportunities, the right financial gains for you. Like you're steadfast moving forward. You're very... Your aura field is like everything right now. Man. Tell me about this fear here. Why is this here? Fear. Oh. Someone is fearing because they can't block you anymore. They can't keep you in denial. You're making the right choices. It's about also not letting fear hold you back and like seeing things for what it is and moving forward and knowing that you made the right choices for yourself. So, man, someone could not stop your destiny, stop you from overcoming this adversity. Like, you're a force to be reckoned with, man. Someone's, someone is, like, fearing that you're outing the truth about them. Tell me more about fear. 
Yeah, the devil. Man, the devil fears you. All right, I see you. Okay, so you definitely are no longer letting any low vibing, dark energy, spell work. Like nothing can keep you down. Like nothing can stunt your growth. That's why you've got some energies that are just afraid of you. All right, you got the devil running and shaking in his boots. So you've definitely got some um, past energies here obsessing over you right now. You making people feel scared. Man. So this is like taking inspired action, overcoming all the challenges that you were presented in your past. This is no longer letting these connections come in and out of your life anymore. This is about ripping masks off of people and making them see their true selves. And you make people intimidate. So this is no longer putting up with the deception. This is no longer caring what people think about you. No longer needing anybody to validate your worth like you have had some energies that tried to get you to fall on your face and you come back stronger. So, man, 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 man. So you got somebody here from your past, though, that is trying to come towards you. This is like a player, a non-committal energy trying to come back towards you. But this is someone that's very deceptive. And this is someone that is like your intuition spooks this person and people like you. You see through people. But this is someone that was wishing on your downfall here, and you're not falling. You rise up to the challenge, and you come back stronger. So somebody's worried about you meeting a better lover as well. Somebody's fearing how reserved your emotions are and how emotionally aware you are. Somebody knows that they can't manipulate you anymore. And somebody is really worried about you finding this, this connection for yourself. Somebody is worried about you defaming their character just by you being you is making somebody uneasy because somebody tried to make you out to be the bad guy in the situation but it's them and they're this person's ego like they can't handle being exposed for the darkness that they are man there's definitely a better connection wanting to make room for you as well somebody fears that you like there's something here about your life just taking off and just getting so many wonderful things your way like effort like everything is just coming towards you effortlessly so someone is trying to get you to take a connection on to calmer times with them but this is someone that fears your response this is someone that is afraid to like they don't like to be told no they don't like to feel rejected and you didn't let fear keep you stuck like you may feel like you don't know where you're headed at times but you're trusting like your messages and your downloads you know that you're always going in the right direction here Man, you got people. Man, you got people fearing your this new you. Five of Wands, that drama, that chaos, all this conflict and things that were sent your way to destroy you, like you, you tear it up. Your spiritual team tears it up. So somebody didn't realize how high ranked you were. Like, man, you're not to be played with. Somebody fears your wish fulfillment. Somebody fears your self-love journey. Somebody knows that you're able to pour into yourself. And someone is definitely worried about your wish fulfillments taking place. Man, I'm telling you. Somebody views you as a very powerful magician. Someone sees that you've got everything that you need to create the life that you want. And the way that you transmute energy and like stuff ricochets off of you and goes right back to someone else here. And it makes them scared. Like They're like, who are you? Man. So someone knows that you're no longer falling for the illusions and the manipulation here. Like you can read and see people to a T and it makes people feel uneasy. Tell me about truth. So there's some kind of like truth being revealed that swords down. So somebody did everything in their power to keep the truth from coming out, which was them being awful to you. Tell me about truth. King of Swords. So this is a very cold and detached energy that was very harsh with towards you like very this is someone that really said a lot of nasty things and somebody is trying to have a conversation with you like this is someone that fears your wrath they fear they fear the truth that you speak and that horn is drawn to me so there's like judgment being called on these individuals that tried to like your adversaries are like they know they should have never come up against you tell me about truth tell me about truth and then there's an, also a conversation coming in here with a new person. So I also feel like there is like communication making your way. Like this is like a healthy, wholesome connection that's coming towards you. And somebody's fearing that you're finding the love of your life here, which I feel like that's what's going on for some of you. Like you're having this, this connection that's meant to, to be part of your journey. Like that's part of your, like your evolution, your growth. Somebody doesn't like that 
you're telling your side of a situation when it comes to a past. Like someone didn't think that you were going to stand up for yourself and like, and expose the darkness. You're a truth speaker. Yeah, someone's having a tower moment. Someone cannot believe, like, you had a, a past energy, a past connection that did everything in their power to create a tower moment for you. And then this person sat back and talked, like, I don't know what happened. Like, this person did all this nasty stuff to me. I didn't do anything wrong. But it's all, like, blowing back up on this past person's face, man. And then there's just, like, a confession with, like, a, a new love connection that's meant to come towards you. Like, the truth is being exposed about a new person. Your rebirth, this is about you ending something and being done with it. Somebody tried to like hide what really happened between the two of you, but your your growth and your rebirth is like shattering illusions. This is no longer giving to these one-sided connections. Somebody only wanted to see their side, wanted people to see their side of a situation, which entailed them making you look bad. So, man. And then I keep getting like there's a new a new connection wanting to come towards you and somebody that wants to give you that equal reciprocity. You got the you know how to mirror people, the king to the queen. So you're you're not to be played with here. So somebody fears your truth for sure, man. Like, man. And then I keep getting like a healthy conversation with love. Like this is like two people getting to know each other and then seeing that they want the same thing in a connection. That's part of your growth is to have a healthy connection. So someone did not want you to tell your side of the story when it came to a past connection that you dealt with. Someone did everything in their power to silence you and now their worst fear is coming true. You speaking your truth and you having better love option here. Like this person could not knock you off your A game. Nothing could knock you off your A game. Like you're very strong and determined. Very strong willed person here. Talk about home. So someone could try to show up to your house here. Talk about that. Yep, there's somebody here wanting to try to have a new beginning here with you. So this is about you taking risks for yourself and getting out of your comfort zone to create a solid foundation for you. And there's this King of Wands. So there's definitely like a past energy that's wanting to come towards you, but they fear your truth. This person's definitely wanting to show up to your house. They could be driving past your house. This person knows that you're laying a solid foundation. So, man, like this person's going to try to convince you that you two belong together, but I keep feeling like a new energy is making its way into your life here. And that's this past person's worst fear. You dealt with a heartbreaker in the past. Someone that was compulsive and reckless. So it's like this compulsive energy is getting ready to take a leap towards you. Like this is someone that breaks hearts. Look at the image. Always got other options that they're talking to, and they don't want those options. They're easily accessible. They want you because they see you on the come up. wanting to reconcile this person sees you just chilling minding your business all about self-improvement attracting better love towards you and they see you celebrating life and you've definitely got your boundaries up someone didn't realize how protected you were as well so the spell work or anything that was done behind your back it's like it's all falling back on this person or these people anybody that tried to stop you and you're on your life's journey is getting dealt with okay so this is about you putting your foot down and not letting anybody come in here and cause any more tower moments for you. Like, you mean what you say and you say what you mean. So this person's going back and forth, trying to figure out the right outfit, like how to approach you in a in a presentable manner. Someone is going back and forth, trying to figure out the right way to come towards you. Like, this is someone that likes to guilt trip and play, play games with you. So this is someone cannot believe who they are seeing this time. Like, they didn't expect for you to turn into this powerhouse. And boy, are you showing them. This person's watching your investments. They're seeing what you're doing. They're seeing you elevate. They've seen you nourish and grow and evolve. So this person's going to try to convince you to invest into them. But this is someone that definitely sees your finances looking well. I'll tell you that. This is someone that's coming towards you with hidden motives. This is someone that doesn't like the silence between the two of you. This is somebody that is hoping that you won't read them. Because this person knows that you're very gifted and it spooks them. Hmm. <laughs> Tell you about healing. So you've been really improving, mending forward, progressing. Tell me about that. Tell me about healing. Four cups. This is you no longer letting anybody dangle that beautiful cup of love of yours. No longer letting anybody play games with you. This is about no longer feeling second best. No longer doubting your worth. Like you've stepped into a new era here. 
So this is someone that knows that you've been really healing and improving and moving forward. And this person still wants to try to play some games and come towards you. It's almost like this person feels like if they get you back, that some, like they feel like there's already been some truths being exposed. But this person's really worried about something else coming to light. And they feel like if they get back into your good graces, it won't make them look bad. Like what they were trying to like do to you, it won't make them look as bad if you're with them again. Tell me about healing. Page of Pentacles, that's a better offer and love coming towards someone here, definitely. Finance is definitely improving as well. So this is someone that is trying to come towards you, trying to gift you something, take you out on a date. They're trying to present themselves in a good way. But this is someone that likes to create a lot of illusions, likes to confuse you, likes to treat people as options here. And you clearly have like been purging and going through that dark night of soul. This is like really taking a, a, hard, a hard, long look at yourself and just wanting better receiving better because you know that you can do better so man this is about not letting anybody create any false narratives or illusions about you anymore this is about you standing 10 toes down in this beautiful authentic character of yours and it, and it it's outweighing anything that was bad that was said about you man this is no longer staying stuck in situations no longer letting people make you feel guilty and shame you for wanting better this past person thought you was going to stay stuck they didn't think that you were going to move forward and progress. And if this person was doing things to try to slow your progress down, all it did was slow you down, but you're still moving forward. So this is about like this person trying to come towards you and make it seem like they ain't been doing what they've been doing behind your back here. Like this person's trying to serenade their way back in. And this is someone that chose poor when it comes to you, went towards someone else, left you behind. And now this person sees that you are calling in something better for yourself so this is about better choices and love for you because you've been healing and this is just letting that tower moment blow up and just building yourself back up stronger this is someone that did everything they could to try to like have you crumble down to nothing and again like you've built yourself back up stronger like this is someone that knows that they can no longer create tower moments for you like this is someone that's trying to come towards you with this tower moment making it seem like they on the same page as you. This is just leaving connections where they where they lie, being done. And this is like the phoenix rising from the ashes, like breaking free and blooming from these toxic connections that meant to keep you keep you stuck and hinder you. No longer giving to these one sided connections. No longer pouring into people that don't pour in back to you. This is about balance being restored, and this is about only giving to connections where you receive that same energy back, and that's what you're going towards. And you've got people that fear your truth. I've got air, Capricorn, fire, air, water, water, air, air, water, Aries, fire, water, earth, and water here. And so my only major arcana is the devil. So this is about you really crushing any type of darkness that has been trying to stop you from moving forward on your journey. Like you, you definitely have crushed your own demons and other people's demons that have been trying to project on you like you're not to be played with i see you all right so you've been healing you're improving you're moving forward and that's why this person's trying to come in here with this mask on it's not who they are you already know the truth about this person this is someone that's got some addictions you could have suffered from addictions that's part of that devil energy trying to keep you stuck in that low vibing energy and you've laid all that to rest here beautiful could be some divorces, could be some kind of legalities, some court issues that you have to deal with here. But these scales are balancing out. And this is about trusting in this divine timing, knowing that everything is meant is for you and nothing, nobody can take it from you unless you give them the power to. So this is all about trusting and knowing that things are working out for you. This is about creating boundaries with these connections that tried to hinder your growth. Someone did not expect for you to create a distance from them. You dealt with some toxic relationships no longer fighting, no longer being codependent on anybody, no longer letting anybody trigger you anymore. Beautiful. And this is calling in a better connection for you. This is you done with the past contract, ready for new contracts. So this is like you calling in your counterpart, the person that is meant for you. And that is this person's worst fear as well. It's like you finding true, authentic love. Leo. So some of you guys definitely have kids with this person. This is about no longer staying in these unhealthy connections, whether they're kids or no kids involved. This is about creating that solid structure so your kids have a solid, structured home life as well. Someone was very emotionally immature. They didn't know how to treat you. They were 
it was a disconnect because this person didn't know how to open up and, and like and talk to you like this person didn't even want to hear your side of something like they very selfish energies that you dealt with and now the door is open and someone's panicking because now these doors are opening and you're ready to go towards better things for yourself and this person's in fear not only are you speaking your truth you're putting yourself back out there and this person's fearing all of this tell me more tell me more so this person did things to ignore you, to keep you stuck in a cycle. Like this is someone that would turn their back on you and ice you out to, to keep you stuck so you wouldn't move forward. Your past person could not be getting along with someone right now. They could be fighting and bickering. And you have positive changes coming in because you have the wake-up call and you want better cycles. That's why better cycles are coming in for you. And now you've got this past person trying to, to come to some kind of compromise. They want you to understand them now. But this is someone that fears your truth. They fear your wrath. And very soon. Because you definitely got love coming towards you. So, And then you definitely got this past person trying to present themselves back into your life as well. So someone didn't expect for you to move forward and like find... A, a true connection it's happening sooner than what they thought and this past person's always got a side piece so they ain't getting along with a side piece and this is about clearly no longer letting anybody treat you as a side piece so this person's never serious they don't take themselves serious this person could be trying to make you the side piece right now because they're not doing well with someone else here some of you guys could be going on vacation some of you guys may want to go on vacation. What I'm really getting off of this card is that your past person like to tell you all this nonsense and, and try to give you so much hope and they would never carry through with their actions. Some of you guys are, when meeting this new person or if you're talking to someone new, like this new person wants to take you out on vacation. Like they want to do things with you. Tell me more. Yeah, there's definitely a new love here. Intelligent, a communicator, very smart, very creative, a very generous, sociable person. So you got this new love making room for you. And somebody is fearing this now. Somebody just fears your truth in general. Someone's having money issues and you're looking good over there with your finances. So definitely keep that in mind because your past person is not doing well financially. So we got text message wanting to come through. You could be texting somebody new at this time um, or DMing them on your social media accounts. Like somebody, this past person is trying to figure out how to get you to connect with them again they want to talk like they could be trying to send some kind of message out and you're definitely being watched you always get cards of you watching you're being watched so I'm not telling you that to be paranoid but I really felt like someone is driving past your house spying on you being sneaky trying to see if you're with someone else that is this person's worst fear and get putting yourself back out there going out on romantic dates and of course this past person is going to try to come in here and love bomb you and romanticize you because you've got your heart locked down and this is about receiving that better love offer and opening your heart space back open with this new connection here. So this past person thought you was going to continue chasing after them. And you're not. This person's getting ready to start chasing you down because they know that you're on to something better for yourself. You could be on dating apps. Make sure you're always using your discernment. This past person could have been on some kind of dating app trying to like, like it's all about getting attention with your past person. And you don't want it, nothing to do with that person anymore. And we've got summertime approaching here. So this is about you definitely meeting a new love, definitely getting back out there. You could be double dating here, but just loving life, opening up for new. So if something happened significant in the fall time, someone could have, um, you got could have had a falling out during the fall time. Like something definitely impacted you during this last fall season. And now somebody knows that like, they for sure thought they was going to be able to keep you stuck in this vicious cycle with them. And that's not the case. Leo. Karmic ties. I'm telling you, you've had a lot of karmic energies try to stop you from moving forward. Now you're ready to move forward. Like you dealt with a karmic here for sure. Tell me more. Now this person's trying to come back and sweet talk you. This is someone that is definitely, that's that love bombing energy. Tell me more coming back telling they love you there's better love connections coming in somebody that will honor you cherish you if you are talking to somebody new like this new person is going to show up for you the past person just wants to love bomb you tell me more trap somebody tries to to get you to fall into these traps this past person of yours could be sleeping with somebody at their job you could have met this past person at your job 
Some of you guys can meet a new connection through your job. But this past person likes to use their employment as a, a pawn so they can cheat and step out behind your back. So for some, like, I feel like another, like a third party energy fell into the same trap that you did with your past person here. Somebody's in some massive regrets when it comes to you. Because somebody knows that they can't pull the wool over your eyes anymore. Your intuition really scares people. We got a Jezebel spirit. Though your past person's a Jezebel. Jezebel spirits can be in men and women. Jezebel spirits are hateful. They're they're competitive. They're jealous. They're envious. They they hate to see you get better. They hate to see you win. They hate to see you have wholesome love. So this past person could have painted you out as a Jezebel spirit, but your truth is shattering illusions. Your character is shattering illusions. And you're definitely being watched on secrets accounts. This could be new and past energies watching you and observing you right now. Could be a pregnancy here. Somebody could have someone pregnant, like a third party energy pregnant. Somebody's worried about you creating a healthy family with someone new. Memories. So someone is definitely looking at your pictures. So it's like someone's trying to manifest you by looking at your pictures. Somebody could be doing something with your pictures here. But this person's trying to figure out how to get you to be nostalgic. And you've got these spiritual gifts. Your spiritual gifts are heightening. And it makes people afraid. Like you're on it. Like you just know. You're just very elevated and stepping into your gifts. Tell me more. And you've said goodbye to an old self. And you're definitely saying goodbye to these connections that stopped your growth. Could have dealt with some kind of death. My condolences here, but this is you just saying goodbye to any connection that stops you. There it is. There's some kind of love spell. So somebody's trying to do some kind of love spell, trying to get you to reciprocate that energy back with them. There's just something about your energy in general that just makes people fall for you. So just make sure that you're creating barriers with individuals. So when you have that beautiful energy, you will attract the right people, but you also attract that darkness towards you. And that darkness has been trying to stop you your whole entire life. So, and then what I'm really getting is this past person off this is like what they're going to say to you. It's going to be that love bombing energy because they want to try to put you up on that pedestal that they already jerked out from underneath you. So your past person acts fake busy. Let me grab that card. It fell down here. So your past person has been acting fake busy, but this person has just been all up in your business watching what you're doing here. So, and this past person likes to pretend they're fake busy, but this is when they're cheating and, and stepping behind your back here. This past person wants to make it seem like they've been very goal oriented and doing the same things that you're doing, but that's not the case. They just, they, they a pretender. Tell me more. You're the queen, the king, secure, confident, boss status, career focused. Just man, this person knows that you are on that throne and you ain't letting nobody knock you off of it. And I know that's right. Something about your royal bloodline as well. So this past person likes to, to entertain these no strings attached connections. And you don't want to be part of this. This is someone that will try to downplay what they did to you. Like, oh, I didn't love them. It was just sex. But they hurt you still. Like, it's all about not validating your feelings with this past person here. And this is not wanting to entertain any type of connection that's just on these no strings attached. So this past person's like watching what you're doing. Like they're trying to figure out where you're at, what you're doing. They're trying to run into you. So this is someone that's definitely been keeping tabs on you. This is someone that never gave you closure. They left you hanging. They purposely did things to, to gain control. This person honestly thought that you was just going to hang around and wait for them. Nah. You're on your side hustles. You are creating all kinds of streams of income for yourself. Like your hustle game is on point here. And this person is trying to come back and pop some kind of question. Trying to extend some kind of offer. And some of you guys have a new um, person being presented to you. This past person is very reckless. Going around sleeping with anything that will let them sleep with it. I said it. <laughs> this past person is reckless. And if you let this past person back in, they will continue to be reckless with you. And if you have somebody new, or this could be a prediction, this past person wants to try to use this sexual energy to create drama between you and a new person. This person's mad that you're closing this cycle out and it's done. Do not let this person try to tempt you back because that's what they want to do. Like, this person, like, I keep getting that this person's spooked of your gifts. Like, they cannot believe who they're seeing these days. Like, they cannot believe it. Leo. Oh, this one's overwhelmed. This one's overwhelmed because 
you have new chapters coming in. This is someone that knows that you're no longer valuing this connection anymore. Like, you're all about cutting any type of connection that's not for your highest good. And you're making room for new chapters because you're closing out past chapters. That's good. So, this past person wants to make it seem like they are more, they're financially well off like you are. And that's not the case. So, man, this past person didn't value you when they had you. Tell me more. Ego. This person operates out of their ego. This is someone that's feeling overwhelmed. Something about their ego that just won't let them admit fault because their ego is too fragile. And this is someone that there's something about the truth being exposed. Like this person cannot handle their fragile ego being bruised like their self-image. So that's why they're trying to get back into your life because it, it, it'll make them look good. Like it'll shatter everything that they were trying to do to you behind the scenes here. Man, this person's very prideful. They let too much ego get in the way. This one's overwhelmed because you are a truth speaker and they see you healing and they're terrified. They cannot expect what they did not expect for this outcome to happen. They're like, what the hell? What happened? Like they did not expect for you to take all those cards that they stacked up against you. You took that whole table and you flipped it over. Like, man. Neglected. This is someone that neglected you. This is someone that put you on the back burner. This is someone that wanted you to neglect yourself, wanted you to have poor self-worth. And you're doing this. You're going towards your destiny. And this person, they cannot believe what they're seeing. Like, you're all about forward movement on your path, and you're not letting anything stop you. You've overcome some challenges. So this one's trying to figure out how to get forgiveness from you. They don't like to admit fault, but they'll do it if it gets them the, the outcome that they want. This is someone that wanted you to chase them. And you're not chasing nothing but your finances and being a better you. That's what you're chasing. This is someone that knows that they missed an opportunity with you. Because they know for sure that you are on the come up. This is someone that wants you to miss an opportunity with a better person. So don't let them get in the way of something better for you. This is someone that ran and expected you to chase them. Now this person sees you running from them and now they want to chase you. This is someone that ran to a third party. And now this person can't handle the thought of you having something new. It's their ego. This is not an honest person. This person was never honest with you. They never cherished you. And something about your truth and your honesty, it, it makes this person scared. They don't want to be outed for their, their wicked ways. Leo. Moon, changes in your life. So this person cannot believe what they're seeing. So many changes. You've made so many changes, and you are embracing changes, and those changes are certainly coming towards you in all areas here. Tell me more. Like, this past person wants to come towards you with the facade and make it seem like they are on the same wavelength as you, like they've been changing things up. But this is someone that's been observing you at this time. Tell me more. So, someone you know is undependable and insecure. So, you are currently removing unhealthy connections. So, this could be anybody that was... They were undependable and insincere. And this past person is definitely insincere. They only do things to make to, to get what they want here. Problems to be resolved. So this is someone that is trying to like backstep what they've done. They don't they didn't want you to resolve something on your own. Like this is someone that like there's a lot of problems that were meant to like to knock you off your path, but it just it just made you stronger. Financial pinch. Like, your past person is not doing well financially. Some of you guys' finances were all over the place when you dealt with this past person. So, this past person is not doing well. They're going to make it seem like they are, though. And then we've got a spear, heart heartache over what you no longer have. So, this person's going to try to make you feel bad because they can't... You're not hurting anymore over them. Like, this person really betrayed you. And you're successfully overcoming a problem. So, there's like... Challenges that are arrived to you, problems that try to, to stop you, but you always overcome anything that's meant to take you out. You're very strong. Your spiritual team is very strong. Control your anger or you will be sorry. So somebody doesn't like how self-controlled you are at this time. And do not let anybody anger you because if you let people lead you by emotions and they have power over you. And I feel like that's not what's going on because this person, is just this new version of you is making this person or these people like really like panic, man. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. So this is about if you may have want to see more results of things you're doing. So just make sure that you're just taking those actions to, to get more ahead for yourself. Tell me more. 
you're a firecracker. Your excitement is being restored. Like you have so much excitement coming towards you here. And we've got May energy. So that's Taurus Gemini energy here. So we're in May right now. So this could be happening right now. The new love could be, you know, making room into your life right now. Man. We've got Horseshoe. Good luck. Yeah, you've got a lot of good luck and amazing things on your side because the universe supports what you're doing here at this time. News of a birth of a business or an opportunity. So this is like birthing new ideals all around in your life here. Man. Indecisiveness. Allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. And that's what you're not doing anymore. You're no longer just going with the flow and just you have purpose now you have drive you have things that want to that make you feel good that feed your soul here this past person was indecisive and wishy-washy with you and if you let take them back all this relationship will do is just roll into the same thing over and over and over again because there's no change being made you've made changes that's why you're ready to move forward this past person ain't done nothing they'll tell you that though leo Things will not always be this way. Change is coming. So this is about embracing those changes and trusting that divine timing. When things are happening in our life, just know that it's not always going to be this way. Better's, better's to come. you got to trust it. you got to believe it. Tell me more. And we've got grasshopper. Situations in the balance that require careful handling. So this is just making sure that you're handling your endeavors and not letting anything knock you off balance because you're all about forward movement. And then danger, especially in money matters, that's this past person. They are not doing well financially. So this is about really practicing perseverance with your, with your finances, if that's even a word. It sounded right in my mind, so just go with it. But there's something here about you just not overspending, but just nurturing your finances. That way more can come in, but still having, you know, still getting done what you need to do, but not overspending. This past person's finances is not doing well at all. Dealings or relationships with a younger man, so that could be the new energy, could be a new person coming towards you, or your past person could have been younger than you. You could be the younger man watching this. Could be a business opportunity for somebody here. And then we've got a dark man, dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion, so this could be describing you, this could be describing your past person, or this could be describing a new person wanting to make room into your life here. Persevere and you will overcome problems. So that's that determined, steadfast energy that you have. Like you always persevere for anything that is meant to stop you. Muddled, unclear thinking. That's what this past person is trying to come towards you. Like they don't want you to see them for who they are. And they've already showed you. You've already learned from this past person. You will be shown the way. So this is about you knowing that you're going in the right direction. Like past being illuminated for you. Hidden secrets can harm you. That's this past person. They got a lot of secrets, things that they've done and said and, and spoke and sent your way. So they're trying to backstep and get back into your life because they don't want this to come out, these secrets. They don't want you to expose. Like there's already things been said or just the way that you're presenting yourself. Like this is someone that doesn't want them to be outed. Disappointment in some affairs. So this is about you cutting cords with any type of relationship that tries to stop you. Like cutting it out and being done. And then we've got a fair woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. This could be describing you. This could be describing the person that your past went towards to entertain something else. So, and then we've got broken ring. Parting of the ways in either romance or business. So this is about you cutting ties. You could be um, move, leaving a job situation, going towards a, a new career path. Definitely cutting out uh, connections, whether there's marriage involved, no marriage involved. But this is about just letting letting bygones be bygones. Deep friendships with someone of the same sex. So a lot of you guys have been forming um, connections with your friends, like forming a, a stronger bond. So some of you guys, like your past person could have tried to have you sever ties with friends. So there's something about you knowing who your true friends are and severing ties with the so-called friends, the frenemies, I call them. So this is about deepening those bonds for you that you feel are, are for your highest good. And like I said, severing ties with those bad connections here. So, man, like, your, your intuition and the things that you're able to overcome is like really spooks people, man. I, ah. So you keep showing up for yourself. You're very strong and you can overcome anything. That's clear here. So 
All right, my beautiful Leo, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Sunday. We'll do it all over again. Appreciate you so much. Light and love to you. See you Sunday.